Hi, everybody. It's Wednesday night. I'm Gloria Moraga. Hey, we might have a rail strike. Let's just get right to the point. What's the problem? The problem is, wait for it, work schedules. Workers want unpaid time off for their doctor appointments, and the companies are saying no. It, this is just unbelievable. They want unpaid time off to go to the doctor. Now, Rail workers are the people who make the trains run. They want this unpaid leave. I'm Gloria Moraga. I'm a political woman and I vote. The rail strike. President Biden is considering executive action to avoid a national freight rail strike. Rail companies and unions are negotiating right now. It's not working. The deadline is Friday. Amtrak has already canceled uh, passenger trains, long distance passenger trains, because these trains run on the same tracks that the freight trains are run by. So that's that, a strike, woof. This could and would hurt the economy. A strike would block the supply chain, and we, and we're very spoiled in this way, would not get our stuff. And what stuff? A lot of our stuff. Food, beverages, Diet Coke, uh, natural gas, coal, uh, health care products. It's peak harvest right now. I grew up in Fresno. I know about peak harvest right now. They're uh, getting ready to harvest grapes and wine grapes. And it's peak harvest right now for grains, for soybeans, for corn. And so all of the things that we use those products to make other products like bread and such hurt the supply chain. This would cost $2 billion a day. $2 billion a day. Give them their freaking unpaid time off to go to the doctor, my friends. And this is what you do. You hire middle, lower income, lower manager people who manage the schedules. Yeah, it, it's hard to schedule, but it's not impossible and keep the trains running. That's what we do. I listened to some Yahoo on CNN going, just fire them, fire them all. You know, like Reagan did with the air traffic controllers. No, give them their unpaid time off. The rail companies that have made billions, record profits during the um, COVID, and the workers have been there. 